Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the design of instrumentation amplifier with the gain 50. So we'll understand how you're going to design the instrumentation amplifier by using LT Spice and how you're going to simulate the instrumentation amplifier with the with the gain 50 and the frequency 20 megahertz. So you can join our hardware design online training course and the new batch registration is open starting from Feb 15 to May 25. A form link is given in description and you can also reach out to us via email and the water kit flow of this instrumentation amplifier and later I'm gonna run the simulation and we'll see the waveforms. Okay, so if you look at the V1 and V2 are the supply of instrumentation amplifier. That means V1 is 15 volt. If you right click on here, it's a 15 volt. V2 is minus 15 volt. And uh, we are using V1 and V2 to give the supply to our instrumentation amplifier, our op amp, right? So, so U3, U1, and U2. U1, U2, U3 are the op amps we are using uh, for instrumentation amplifier. And if you look at now the input side, okay. So input side the U1, U1, the positive terminal of U1, that is non-inverting terminal of U1, is connected to the source V4. And if I right click on source V4, so it is amplitude is one and uh, the frequency is 2 megahertz right and uh, if you look at now u3 okay u3 so u3 again positive terminal of and u3 our non-inverting terminal of u3 is connected to the source v3 and if i right click on source v3 so it is 10 millivolt and the frequency for V3 is 20 megahertz. The frequency for V4 was 2 megahertz. And the frequency for V3 is 20 megahertz. Now, your V3 is connected to the plus of U3. And your V4 is connected to the plus of U1. Right? So, your minus terminal here. Minus of U1 are inverting terminal of an operational amplifier U1 is connected to R7 with resistance of 250 and also the feedback component R5 okay and the R5 is connected at the output on other hand the same replica if you look at R6 and R8 uh, the value of R6 is 1k the value of R8 is 250 ohm and in between I have connected one small value capacitor 250 picofarad for the filtering purpose okay now the output of U3 and the output of U1 are connected to the again the register R3, R4 and they are connected with the minus terminal of an op amp U2 and the plus terminal of an op amp U2. Okay, so the output of R3, the output of U3 and U1 are connected with the positive and the negative terminal of an operational amplifier U2 with the, the gain resistance R3 and R4. The value of R3 and R4 if you look at here is 1k, right? And uh, now this U2 operational amplifier, if you look at now, it is connected with the feedback component R1 and the finally we have the output, okay? So the gain of gain of the entire instrumentation amplifier entire system here is 50 okay how gonna be 50 let us understand so in the first case your gain gain is going to be gain is going to be 5 and then in next case in the for the u2 your gain is going to be r1 divided by r3 or r2 divided by r4 and gain is going to be 10 so if you multiply by the gain of 5 here in your first case and 
with the gain of 10 in the second stage your overall go gain is going to be 50 and the frequency output frequency should be 20 megahertz okay so now i'm gonna run the simulation let us run the simulation and straight away let us look the waveform so uh, go ahead simulate edit simulation command and the stop time is 2 microsecond very less can you imagine this 2 2 microsecond okay so go ahead this now run button and click on run button and let us see now the voltage and the current waveform so let us first see the supply v1 and v2 okay so supply v1 is how much you can see minus 15 volt and the supply supply v2 is minus 15 volt and v1 is gonna be plus 15 volt can you see so this is your v2 and this is your v1 so your v1 and v2 is going to be plus minus 15 volt that we clearly see in the simulation okay what is the voltage at plus terminal let me right click on it so voltage at plus terminal is uh, 1 volt peak that means 2 volt peak to peak okay with the frequency of 2 megahertz what is the voltage at the i in minus terminal the voltage at i in minus terminal is more or less same if you look at they are overlapping each other but since since the voltage at i in plus is v4 and the voltage at i here i in minus is v3 plus v4 and so the value of v4 is 1 volt and the value of v3 is only 10 millivolt if you look at here the value of v3 is only 10 millivolt that is why you are not getting the difference here you are not getting the difference okay now let us see the output okay let us see the output if you want to check the differential voltage here let us check the differential voltage that is the voltage between positive and negative terminal and if you look at now the differential voltage the voltage between positive and negative terminal it is only it is only 10 millivolt okay so this is your differential voltage between positive and negative terminal which is only 10 millivolt and now let us go back again and let us see the voltage at this point single ended voltage so voltage at the output of u3 looks like this the voltage at now the output of u2 let's look like the output of u2 it looks like this so more or less they are overlapping now let us check the voltage between this point u1 out and the u3 out how it looks like okay so now if you look at the voltage between u1 out and u2 out is more or less it's a uh, 60 millivolt I see it's around 60 millivolt okay uh, so it's around 60 millivolt now let us check the final output so let me delete this I'm gonna delete this and let us see the output so the final output is going to be 500 millivolt if you look at here the output of your instrumentation amplifier is 500 millivolt clearly you can see it's more or less 500 millivolt that means your input was the differential input was 10 millivolt and you are getting the output of 500 millivolt okay that is how you design the instrumentation amplifier you can send it set the gain of instrumentation amplifier yeah, and you can also play with the frequency of your instrumentation amplifier and you can also uh, see if your instrumentation amplifier is working fine or not so what I'm gonna do now is let us tweak the value here let us let us do 20 millivolt and let us see what is my output okay if this is 20 millivolt what is my gonna output 